Hey Frontline fans, welcome back to Comic Frontline and fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do a review on The Walking Dead, episode number 10, otherwise known as Them. Uh, that's right fans, this episode is basically about stripping down uh, your main characters here of The Walking Dead, the whole group, and, and just seeing them at their worst. And uh, you get to deal with pretty much you're dealing with the ramifications of, um, you know, the loss of, of Beth and the loss of uh, Tyrese in this particular episode. And we can see how it affects Maggie's character, um, how it affects Sasha, and even how it affects uh, Daryl as well. And, uh, you know, at, at some point they're, they're debating on it. What's the point? Like, what's, what's the reason to live? And uh, you get to experience that through this entire episode. And by the time you get to the end of the episode, uh, you wind up seeing uh, that there's this big thunderstorm that comes through. And uh, we get the group that works together. And uh, they, you know, keep the zombies away. And uh, we wake up the next morning uh, to a beautiful uh, sunrise. And, uh, you know, they kind of have this this reason of this is why we live. Um Throughout the episode, you wind up seeing some water left behind uh, for the group, and the group doesn't know who this water is from. Uh, it just says it's from a friend. And by the time you get to the end of this episode, the very end, the last scene of this episode, uh, we wind up seeing who that person was that left uh, the water for uh, the group. And the person's name is Aaron. Uh, that is uh, the person that is looking to help the group. Uh, and if you guys are not familiar with Aaron, uh, he is a recruiter uh, from the safe zone known as Alexandria. Uh, this is the next area that our group is going to be headed to uh, in the series. And uh, he's a recruiter for their leader, and their leader's name is Douglas. And what he does is he finds... Uh, survivors and and watches them and feels if he's adequate enough uh, to belong in their group or not so again at the end of this episode uh, that's who you wind up seeing as you wind up seeing Aaron uh, so this is if you're a comic fan you know kinda of where this is headed to now and based off of the scenes uh, going forward you got to see pictures of the safe zone with the safe walls um, how the series winds up, you know, going forward from this, like if it strays to the comic or it changes from here, uh, we could lead into the whole thing that goes on with the hilltop and then eventually Negan and whatnot. So uh, right now, it, it's still quite, you know, still yet to be determined. But uh, seeing Aaron in this particular episode really had my hopes up of really you know, setting the tone going forward with the whole Alexandria thing. So, uh, really interesting stuff. I was kind of excited to see him. If you guys are not familiar with his character, again, he is a uh, he is a gay character in the comic book. He has a boyfriend. And again, him and his boyfriend go out and, and they try recruiting uh, for this safe zone. So, uh, I can't wait to see where the direction's going here with this uh, particular series here. And uh, even though this episode was kind of slow, uh, it was interesting to see our characters deal with the ramifications of these, these characters' deaths in here. Uh, it was good that they addressed it, and then now they'll move forward with the plot line. So after seeing this episode, after it being a little bit slow, it was interesting to see the developments going forward, and uh, I gotta give this episode probably about a three and three quarters of stars. It's a really slow episode, but uh, it was interesting seeing our characters having that will to survive, to move and push forward, because this is the lowest point that we have seen our Walking Dead characters, and it can only, I feel, go up from here. So there's something to fight for now going forward. So fans, leave me your comments below on what you thought of this episode of The Walking Dead. And fans, as always, don't forget to check out ComicFrontline.com. Don't forget to check out ComicRelated.com. And if you want to see my own individual reviews, you guys can check out Comic Book Corner 2.0. And until, fan until then, fans, thank you for watching Comic Frontline. And fans, this is Mike Spider Sawyer signing off. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon. Bye.